G'day punters. Many months ago I talked to you about boosting mobile phone reception. I also mentioned that we've got a Garmin InReach Mini PLB, personal locator beacon. So this video is a little bit about it. Another prep video. Now I've done a prep video previously um, prior to going on the Gib River Road beginning of last year. And we're about to head off again for about another four months, just a short trip this time. So I thought I'd just share with you um, some of my thoughts about necessities on the road. Prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. So let's get into it, eh? Let's see if we can blow through this pretty quickly. We've got an assortment of pliers and circuit pliers, screwdrivers, flathead, Phillips head, Stilson's claw hammer, because that's more useful than a ball pane hammer, files, chisels, shifters, specialist um, Allen keys and tools for various, well that's the shock absorbers, pin punches, rulers, a little set of files, pin punches, Stanley knife, wire brush, electric, uh, drill, multimeter, assortment of AF and metric um, sockets and some uh, long sockets as well, some spare Stanley blades, machete, easy outs, drill screwdrivers, impact sockets, impact wrench, AF and metric, um, ring open enders, less AF, um, some extensions for my ratchet, universal joint tape measure, uh, electrical fuses and stuff in there, little gas torch which I can convert into a soldering iron, some replacement gas, assortment of greases and oils, spare jack and their rivet gun, uh, some lubricant, some deep greaser, spare air filter, spare fuel filter, spare bearings for both the rear axle on land cruiser and the caravan, a bunch of air fittings in the bottom of there, um, some replacement brake hoses, a grease gun, a bag full of electrical stuff including o-rings, zippy ties, crimps, heat shrink, fuses, um, uh, assortment of crimps, all this stuff except for the electrical power tools and the impact stuff and the machete of course fit in the little um, red toolbox. A bit more kit in the back trundle drawer generally um, some split tubes, some hose fittings, some 12 volt lights, you can see some spare electrical, some spare electrical leads to extend um, between the caravan or the canopy and a portable solar panel, some splitters and running two appliances, I've got some fuel hoses, some water hoses, um, general purpose cleans, funnel, got a chamois and a few rags in there. In the small box this side I just carry um, gas cartridges, a little toaster, some stubby coolers, this is where my fuse, little fuse container goes, some cups, some hand cleaner, some sanitizer. I've got some cutting blades and stuff in here and some uh, a bunch of uh, drills in there as well. Uh, what I didn't show is I also take an um, electric uh, angle grinder as well. Hand soap, hand towel, tie down straps, mozzie coils, not that they're tools or anything like that, spare wiper blade, windscreen uh, washer, max tracks, high left jack, spade on the other side, recovery gear. So it's a good assortment in there as well. Air stuff in here, so a, a duster. I've got some general plugs and stuff that you can plug into um, the airline. The airline, of course, and a um, air pressure gauge. I've also got a fire extinguisher in the car as well. Just behind the um, center console. Center console, just some um, window cleaner, torch, um, multi-tool, window cleaner, underneath that top tray I've got two first aid kits in here, a very basic one and a more comp uh, detailed one in there but I'll go through the first aid stuff in a separate part of this video UHF radio of course cell fire phone booster see the aerial up there and we carry the Garmin um, InReach Mini which mounts up the front a personal safety device or fish killer in-car toolkit, I've got a breaker bar, an impact um, socket for the wheel nuts, 24mm socket for the spare wheel, 
so I can unlock that. And just this basic stuff that Toyota provide. I'm not really going to go over the spares I carry for the caravan. You already know I carry wheel bearings. There's a bunch of other stuff I carry as well, and that's uh, in a separate drawer. The other side of this, it's um, the standard stuff that AOR give you, plus a little bit of extra stuff that I've thrown in as well. Each caravan will be different anyhow, or each uh, vehicle that's being towed will be different, like when we carry, uh, towed the Ultimate. I mentioned that we've got three uh, first aid kits, two in the Land Cruiser, and the bigger one from the caravan. Look at this little quick one. Just got that from Chemist. Very basic. Some strips and stuff. Face shield. Some swabs, gloves. Um, some splinter probes and wound wipes, so that's like alcohol sort of stuff. This one here is a St. John's one, and it has a bit more comprehensive stuff in it, and we've added a bit more to it as well, like face masks, um, a mirror, a bunch more band-aids and stuff. Um, you can buy first aid kits, obviously, from adventure stores like BCF and stuff like that. And they sell very specific ones like for snake bites and stuff but I think you're paying a premium for those because a lot of the stuff that you'll have in, like in this, even in this uh, St John's one will um, be more than sufficient to deal with um, snake bites and stuff. We've added to these basic ones in the car, we've got a bit of gastro stop in case you get a bit of stomach problem, burn cream, sunscreen lotion, some elastic tape, some further band-aids, some eye clear as well. Got a little bag here for pills like Panadol and got uh, nail clippers, scissors, um, needles, files and some other little um, odds and sods just in that little bag as well. So that's what we cover off in, in the car so that's really um, say a quick go-to something a little bit more comprehensive. A little note about the St. John's one, it has a quick first aid reference as well for those people who haven't done first aid court, uh, courses. Um, dealing with bleeding, burns, bruises, minor injuries, heart attack even, face injuries, poisoning, shock, spinal injuries, stings and bites, things like that. So it's a, a quick um, go-to reference uh, in, in treatment if you're out in the bush and you don't know what to do properly. Okay, and this bigger kit that we've got so it was in the, it's in the caravan, but we also carried it around in our ultimate camper as well. So it's just a little bit more con comprehensive. A lot more uh, options in relation to adhesive tapes and stuff. Non-stick, antibacterial strips, gastro strop again. Wound wash spray, there's a bit of that around. Dry eyes, skin cleansing swabs, a bit of betadine around. Um, cotton buds, sore throat stuff, CPR mask, arm sling, again more betadine. Some Voltaren cream, scissors, Splintex, and some antibacterial wipes, some more pads, razor, some pawpaw -paw cream, how about that, Aquadir, more Betadine, clear eyes, quells, Panadol, stuff like that, some swabs, some plastic gloves, a thumb splint, some more comprehensive uh, wound pads, bigger splinters and some more um, sore throat stuff. Well, that covers off on first aid stuff. So what do we do for uh, navigation stuff? And a lot of you who watch my videos in here already know that I've got Ammo Explorer on my iPad here. This isn't a GPS enabled iPad, so I've got a separate um, GPS receiver that I stick in um, the lightning connector. So Hammer Explorer with that gives me GPS um, uh, positioning. Uh, my head unit also has that as well. It has a separate GPS, it's a, the PVS head unit. Of course if you're um, traveling around you want to make sure you have up-to-date and more detailed maps. This is just the basic Australia map this one so with Hammer Explorer you can actually download uh, more detailed maps. Um, we also carry Hammer paper maps, uh, Hammer books, um, and I suppose where there's a bit more GPS or more internet around, we've got access to uh, Google Earth as well to have a look around as well. Also got a compass and of course um, the failsafe, the Garmin InReach Mini, which I'll talk about next. The Garmin InReach Mini. You can see it's pretty small. That's my iPhone 12 there. Charges off a, I think it's a USB. Or micro HDMI, something like that. Anyhow, 
to a USB. I'm going to throw up some pictures here. I'll talk more about these pictures uh, shortly, but I'll give you a bit more info about the InReach Mini. Uh, you do need a subscription. Uh, we pay about $40 a month. The InReach Mini lets you send and receive text messages. You can track your routes, share your journey with family and friends. You can also trigger an, an SOS alert to contact the GEOS Contact Centre. They call it GEOS, GEOS 20, it's a 24-7 emergency response team, so it's not a, to emergency services. The GEOS 24-7 emergency response team will contact you and see what sort of uh, emergency it is and what sort of assistance you need and contact the authorities from there. Connects to the global Iridium satellite and I've just noticed that uh, Anaconda at the moment have these for sale for about 300 bucks. And you can share the a link to uh, people, family and friends so they can uh, go on your journey with you, see where you've been. And you'll see a couple of little waypoints there. And on the left hand side it gives you a whole bunch of, um, well it's the menu I suppose, and see it's the boss. Um, in the collection part of that menu on the left hand side, you'll see that um, the boss has set up some uh, route information, gold fields, Esperance, Kimberley campsites, NT campsites, Perth, Pilbara campsites, Queensland campsites. The next picture shows uh, our route around Australia last year through to about Adelaide. The maps that I'm sharing with you at the moment are the maps that you will see if the link's been shared to you. It's a little bit different if you're the author and you're um, planning uh, the routes are putting in the information, so the screen is a little bit different. This suits us uh, because it gives us that functionality for emergency contact if we need it. And also to send text and receive text messages. Well, that covers off on this video.